Hello my crochet friend, welcome back to another video. This is Bruna Ticality. Today, as you can see, I'm going to show you how to crochet these super cute stockings. And these ones, they are actually real stockings. You can see? So what I'm gonna do, it's I'm going to be putting sweets inside and chocolates and anything really that you wanna, that you wanna put inside, even small little gifts. So for example, I have this one. So I'm going to be putting inside the stocking and then hung on my Christmas tree. I have my favorite chocolate. We just put inside and there you have a little treat for your family. Just like a little handmade gift. Hopefully my family will not watch this video because I want this to be a surprise. So I want to place these on my Christmas tree and then when they come in, they will for sure see my Christmas tree with all the crochets and they're gonna be, oh my goodness, you have crochets on your Christmas tree. And then they will see these and they will be like, oh my goodness, you have some chocolates and sweets inside the little socks. They probably call these socks. So yeah, I want this to be a surprise. So I'm so excited to give these to them. And they are also super quick and super easy to crochet. You can make one in under 15 minutes. So I really hope you like it. And now let's begin crocheting these super cute stockings. So for the materials, I am using a DK number three yarn. Here I have the Bravissimo Lurex in this beautiful red sparkly shade. And then here I have a white yarn and this one is the Bravissimo 50. And then for the tools, I am using a pair of scissors tapestry needle, one stitch marker, and a four millimeter crochet hook. So now we can begin and I'm going to be using first the red yarn. So I'm going to be starting with a magic ring, but you can also begin with a chain three and join or a chain four and join. So right after you have your ring, chain two, and this chain two will not count as a stitch. And then around the ring, work eight half double crochets. So once you have your eight half double crochets, close the ring. And from here, we are not going to slip stitch. So you wanna make sure that you count backwards to see which one is the very first stitch. Mine is right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And into that stitch, you are going to be making the very first half double crochet. Make sure that it's really nice and tight when you're doing this half double crochet. So work the first half double crochet of the round. So we are going to be working in continuous rounds. And into this very first half double crochet, you wanna place a stitch marker into that one. And then into the same stitch where you've done the first one, you are going to be making another half double crochet. And now work around creating two half double crochets into every stitch. And for the second round, you should have 16 half double crochets. So here's my last stitch. So into that one, work two half double crochets. So once you have your 16 stitches around, remove the stitch marker, and then into that stitch where the stitch marker was, you are going to be making the very first half double crochet. And this is how you're going to be working continuously where you have the stitch marker, it's the very first half double crochet of the round. So now we are going to move on into round number three. So we are going to be following now the stitches that we have around the previous round and we are just creating half double crochets. So we are going to be making one half double crochet into every stitch around. So we are going to be having 16 half double crochets going around for the third round. So just work around creating one half double crochet into every stitch. So 
So I'm getting now towards the end. So now to begin the next round, you are simply going to be removing the stitch marker and then half double crochet into that stitch where the stitch marker was. And now we have started the next round. So now I'm going to be repeating round three, three more times. So for the beginning, I'm going to be having six rounds in total. So I'm going to work around creating one half double crochet into every stitch around. So you can see that I got back to the beginning. So remove the stitch marker, half double crochet into the very first stitch, return stitch marker. And now I'm going to continue just creating half double crochets around until I have six rounds in total. So as you can see, I have six rounds in total now completed. And you can see if we count from the beginning. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. And when you're counting, you always want to have the stitch marker facing you because then you will count the correct amount of rounds that you have. So once you have round number six, we are going to be releasing the hook from the red and then we are going to be turning to this other side because now we are going to be doing the heel and we are going to be working into eight stitches here at the back. So go ahead and get the next shade you are using. I am using white. So I'm going to be first making a slip knot. So choose any stitch. I'm going to be doing this one. Then you're going to be inserting your hook into that stitch. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. So attaching with a single crochet. And then into this same stitch, we are going to be working a half double crochet. So the half double crochet stitch is going to count as the first stitch. So we are not counting the single crochet as a stitch. And now we are going to be working down, creating half double crochets until we have eight half double crochets in total. So this is how it looks like. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now to go up, you are simply going to chain one, turn project, and then half double crochet into this very first stitch. So we are not counting the chain one as a stitch. And now go back and half double crochet down into every stitch. Make sure that you get that very last stitch. So this one is stitch number eight. And now you're going to be repeating round number two one more time. So this is how it's going to look like. So we have three rows with the white here for the heel. So now we are going to fasten off. So chain one, leave about 15 centimeters or so for the end here because we are going to be sewing now the heel close. So now fasten off and thread this end into your tapestry needle. So you have finished your rows this way. So you simply go into fold your project backwards like this, the three rows backwards. And we are simply going to sew the top here close. So the stitch is close. So go into this very first stitch of this side and then the next of the other side, and then sew that together. And then the next two, sew them together. And then the following two, sew them together. And then here at the end, you just wanna make sure that you just get two little stitches here, just so you can sew that nicely. And now you're going to be holding this yarn and you're going to be pulling it to bring all the sewing together, just so that it's a little bit narrow here. So now you're just gonna go into another stitch, 
close to the last sewing. So go through that twice. And then one last time, leaving a little loop at the end and then going through the loop and fasten off. So now we can weave in this yarn here on the reverse because here is the reverse you will see. So I'm just gonna go through a couple of stitches. I'm going to be skipping the very first loop and then go backwards, skipping the very first loop and then go backwards into those same stitches. Now the weave-in is done. I'm going to cut off this end. And then from here, all you have to do is to fold this back in place. And now here you have the heel. So this is how it's going to look like. If you want, you can weave this other end in. So I'm going to be doing that. So once you are done with the heel, this is how it's going to look like. So I'm gonna go back into the red yarn that it's already in my project. And then from here, we are going to go around and create the ankle. So I'm going to be removing my stitch marker and then I'm going to be working my very first half double crochet into that stitch. And then I'm going to be returning my stitch marker. I'm going to now half double crochet into the next stitch. And now here I'm going to be doing a decrease. So I'm going to be doing the first part of a half double crochet into the next stitch. And then I'm gonna go into one stitch of this other side. Make sure that you get just two little loops of that little stitch and then pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through. So that's the decrease that I do. And now I'm going to be working four half double crochets going down into this side. So we have this side, the other side and the middle. So I'm going to be working four half double crochets on this side. So I have the first one, this one counts as one. So it's going to be five in total on this side. So one, two, three, four and five and then you want to try your best to do one half double crochet right in the middle where we've done the sewing there we go and now you are going to create four half double crochets here on this other side. But remember that we are doing a decrease here when we change from white to red. So first do four half double crochets. So one, two, three, and four. And then when you get into the white going to the red section, we are going to be doing a decrease. So you are going to be doing the first part of a half double crochet into the last little stitch of the white. And then you are going to pull up a loop into the next stitch of the red. So not the stitch where you have the half double crochet in white, the next stitch. So pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all loops. And now you can just continue with your half double crochets going around until you reach the stitch marker in which is already here. So now from here, this is how it looks like. Now we are going to just half double crochet all the way around until we have the length that we want. I'm going to be doing six rounds in total, just going around with no increase, no decrease, simply one half double crochet into every stitch around. So half double crochet into this first stitch of the round, return stitch marker, and then half double crochet into every stitch around until you reach the stitch marker again.
So as you can see, I go back to the stitch marker and now I'm going to simply just work half double crochets going around and around until I have the length that I want for my stocking. And I'm doing six rounds in total for mine. So I have two, so I have to do four more in total going around. And in here I have 15 stitches going around at the top here of the ankle, but you can also do 16 if you want exactly the same as here at the beginning that we have 16 stitches. You're just gonna have to add one more half double crochet when you create the half double crochets on top here of the heel, all right? So I'm going to now continue creating my half double crochets going around and around until I have my six rounds in total. So as you can see, I have now the six rounds in total completed, if I count here. So one, two, three, four, five, six rounds in total, going around and up to create the length that I want with the red. But I'm going to be doing two rounds with white at the top. And before I change from red to white, I like to transition here and give just a little a little fade out of the stitch so we don't have a little step here with a different shade. So what I'm going to do, remove the stitch marker. I'm going to single crochet into the next stitch and then single crochet into the following stitch and then slip stitch into the next stitch just like so and now we can fasten off so i'm going to chain one if you want you can change slip stitch and change into the white yarn if you like that method you can but i think this gives the best finishing you can see this is how mine looks like so that's what i'm gonna do so chain one cut off a little tail just to weave in, fasten off, and now bring the white yarn, and you wanna attach this yarn here at the back of the stocking. So into any of these two stitches, I'm gonna do it here. So with the white, make a slip knot, and then attach into any stitch here at the back, with a single crochet and then half double crochet into that same stitch and now you can just half double crochet all the way around following the stitches that you have in the base so I'm going to be having 15 half double crochets going around and when you get here where you have the slip stitch you are going to be doing the half double crochet on top of the slip stitch. As you can see, that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm going to be skipping the stitch where we've done the slip stitch because that's already the stitch for this stitch. And then I'm gonna go into the following one and continue around with my half double crochets. So I'm here into my last stitch. This one is stitch number 15. And then I'm going to slip stitch into that very first stitch, the half double crochet stitch. And then I'm going to chain one, half double crochet into that same stitch where we've done the slip stitch. So now from here, I'm going to be making the loop to hang this stocking on my Christmas tree. So I'm going to be doing a chain of 20, that's the sizing that I liked the best. So once you have the chain of 20, bring back to the base and then go into that very first chain. Insert into that chain your hook, make sure that you get two little loops and then you're going to pull up a loop and then you're going to slip stitch. So here you have the little loop now completed. And now from here, go into the next stitch, 
and half double crochet and now you can half double crochet all the way around following the stitches that you have into the previous round so I'm going to be having 15 half double crochets around I'm doing my last half double crochet half double crochet number 15 and now I'm going to slip stitch into the very first half double crochet and now I can chain one cut off my yarn leaving a nice tail for the weave in we are done with the stocking so the last thing that we have to do is to weave in all our ends in place so that's what I'm going to be doing now and this is how you crochet this super super cute stocking I don't think I'm the only one crazy about them. I am so in love! Let's see how it's going to look on my Christmas tree. I cannot hold myself until Sunday to decorate. So we are going to decorate my Christmas tree together Sunday this week. So I'm going to be putting the Milky Way chocolate inside my last the one that I made with you guys, stocking. Here, this one. I'm still going to be making some more, but for now, these are the ones that I have. So let's see how this one looks on my Christmas tree. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at this. Maybe one here. <gasps> these are so cute. This is my absolute favorite ornament that i have ever crocheted in my life all the others are amazing but this one that you can put things inside that is a great idea i am pretty sure people are doing this already but i never done it before and i never seen it before so i'm so excited about it and it looks so cute so this is how you crochet this super cute ornament for your Christmas tree that you can put things inside. So I really hope you have enjoyed and if you end up making it, don't forget to tag me on Instagram or TikTok so that I can see your take on this one. So thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you on my next ornament video. Bye! What do you think? Oh my gosh, this one looks so nice. Yeah? The cook. <laughs> Do you like that? You look really nice. Yeah. <laughs> I am not going to be able to focus with all this here in today's video. Mm-mm. <laughs>